Hi guys, my name is Grania and this is my channel, Jungle Flowers Canada. And, oops, we must make our introductions. Here we have Casper. He is my new miniature schnauzer, ow, and he likes to chew on everything. And I don't wear poor Penny, as Penny is hiding because he is so rambunctious that he just wants to play with her all the time. Hold still so they can see you. Hold still. So he is adorable. I just picked him up on Tuesday and uh, he's settling beautifully in our home. We absolutely love him. So you know I lost my beautiful Leroy if you've been watching me for a while and this is by no means a replacement but it certainly is healing for the heart. Yes, now you want to go play? Go find your sister and drive her bonkers. <laughs> he is hilarious. They'll probably start barking at me now, he's sitting in front of me looking at me. So, oh! So this is part two of my Hoya episodes. And this time I was able to take the Hoyas out of the cabinet because I didn't have them attached. The other one, if you did watch it, you'll know I had tendrils kind of hooked on the back. And, um, and so this time I'll be able to actually show you the, where are my glasses? So I was missing my glasses there. So this time I'll be able to actually show you the, the Hoya and tell you a little bit about how long I have them, etc. So first off, let's start with the one closest to me. There's no particular order. These are just, I love them all. Excuse me, can I have a moment? Can I have a moment? So in here we have two Hoya Bellas. We have the Hoya Bella, oh, he's going nuts here. Can you calm down? Here we have the Hoya Bella Varagata and the Hoya Bella Louis Bois. Now you can see this one actually just, it was dying on me and thankfully it seems to have recovered. And this was just a tiny little cutting that I got in a bundle. So they are both rooting and um, they seem to be quite happy. I'm getting some new growth actually on the Louis Bois. I don't know if you can see, there's a new leaf down here actually. And a, a new leaf on the top. So. There is the first plant, well, first two plants, I guess, the Hoya Bella Varagata and the Hoya Bella Louis Bois. This one has been struggling. I've had, I got this cutting off of a lovely lady. Gosh, it must be nearly a year now, and it really has been struggling, but it seems to be finally coming back. And here is the regular Hoya Bella. But for, for, for whatever reason, it has been struggling. Now it seems to be finally um, putting out some new growth. So I'm hoping that that will turn into a huge plant because I think it's such a pretty one. And here we have the Hoya Quinquinervia. Let me just double check, yeah. So here we have the Hoya Quinquinervia and you can see here there is a brand new leaf. This has been quite slow. I've had this a good couple of months and it's just now finally starting to put out growth. So it has taken its time but I'm happy to see some new growth on it. You can see I have it in soil, not in pond. So some of the plants in this cabinet are actually in soil. I think they do produce leaves quicker when they're in pond, but it's in there now, so I'm just going to leave it. This one here, look at how cute this is. This is the Hoya, this is the Hoya Croniana Black, I believe, is it? Or is it the Lacanosa Black? I'm not sure if it's the Lacanosa black or the Croniana black, but look at how dark the leaves are. Isn't this a stunner? This one I got in a bundle as well. So when I bought my Wilbur Graves China, I got this and the Louis Bois. So I got the three plants in the bundle, but um, it, I think this is really pr pretty. Oh, I thought there might've been a peduncle there, but it's not a peduncle. And next up is the Hoya Rincei. A beauty. Let me just, Tracy, can I get her in frame? Look at the variegation on that. I think this is a beauty. I got this from my friend Tatum and it has put out a long new tendril there. So I'm hoping I will get some more new leaves. This one is a new leaf here. This here 
is a new leaf. I don't want to lose track of what I'm doing here. Okay, this one has grown so fast for me, guys. I cannot believe it. This is the Hoya Wilbur Graves China. And it was a two leaf cutting when I bought it. And it put out, is it two new leaves? Yes, two new leaves. So one or two there, two. Yeah, so it put out two new leaves shortly after I got it. And I don't know if you can see here. Let me see, can I get it to focus? There is another new leaf coming there. Can you see? So I love this plant. It was on my wish list, so when I saw it, I thought, you know what? Let's bite the bullet and buy it. Now, what I noticed, can you notice? This leaf is quite is rounder, but the new leaves are longer. Now, I know Lessie from Lessie's Leaves did actually a very good video on cheaper alternatives to more expensive Hoyas, and she did compare this to the Public Alex Splash, and I, I see where she was coming from. So, you know, if you're not necessarily a Hoya collector, uh, the Hoya Public Alex is going to give you the same vibes as this. My one is actually fabulous inside, it's really big and it's throwing out lots of vines, tons of leaves, and it is actually very beautiful. So I guess I have become more of a collector. I still will not pay too much money, guys. You know what I'm like. So I wait until I can find something that I can afford. So um, I'm very pleased with this, and I think it is very beautiful, and I'm delighted to have it in my collection. So the Hoya Wilbur Graves China. Next up is like one of my favorites, and it's becoming more available definitely um, and I have a beautiful big one in my window which flowers for me but here I have actually I have a couple of these this is the Hoya Callistophylla like wow look at her leaves she is absolutely stunning and really she'd give any of the more expensive Hoyas a run for their money I think she is absolutely gorgeous I love like almost the lime green uh, background and the dark green veining she really is gorgeous and definitely more affordable now I know they are coming available and like when I imported these they were like you could not find them locally when I imported them but now they are available locally well at least where I live in um, I'm in the greater Toronto area uh, so they're definitely available in my area now this poor baby I adore this plant this is the Hoya Caudata. Can you see her gorgeous, almost prehistoric looking leaves or something? I don't know what is it about this plant. I just love it. However, this took a big decline. I had a lot more leaves on this and they just started to fall off. Just one by one they started to fall off and you can see that this one here is kind of yellowing. And I don't know what happened it. So then I was getting no new growth from it so I decided to put it in pawn. Well, it didn't like that initially either. I will show you now though, it is putting out roots. But now it is, if I can get that in focus, can you see there? Now it's starting to put out new roots. So I'm hoping it's going to recover and do better because I truly love this. I mean, I look at that leaf. Let me see, can I get her in focus for you? Is that focusing? Is that Look at how gorgeous that leaf is. It is just beautiful. I mean, my dream would be to have a massive big plant of this and maybe hang it in my window. So that's the goal. And that's the Hoya Caudata. Oh, guys, this. <laughs> Hold your breath. I know it's tiny, but I am so excited. I finally got myself a Hoya Nicholsonii New Guinea Ghost. This has the most incredible leaf. I'm hoping that you get a good idea of what the leaf looks like. It is gorgeous. And look guys, I'm getting a new leaf and a new growth point here. I've only had this since before Christmas. I am so excited. This plant is just gorgeous 
and I think it's probably on Nanny Hoya Collector's wish list. And let me see, yeah, oh look at the roots are just doing tremendously there. Can you see the roots? So you can see I have her in palm. She, I had her in a, t in a tiny little um, cup and then I up upgraded her to this size and soon I will be upgrading her to a larger size. I, am I being lazy? I don't know if it's being lazy, but I'm loving these Dixie cups and some of them I have one inside the other like I do with the Caudata. And I know it probably seems very lazy to people, but it is so convenient when you're trying to find the right size pot when you're, when you're just getting your, your plants established. And I'm loving these cups. I'm calling them Dixie cups. They're not Dixie cups. You know what I mean? They're plastic cups. But um, I just seem to... They, they're just... Are we, are we out of focus? I'm in focus. They are just so convenient. And that's why I'm using them. I just want to give you one last moment to admire this beauty. The Hoya Nicholsonii New Guinea Ghost. What? Oh yes, please. So my hubby, my wonderful hubby is offering me a cup of tea and my son has come back. My trouble. Ow! Oh, 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 oh my gosh, he has sharp teeth. Lord almighty, what am I gonna do with you? What am I gonna do with you? I'll take you to the dentist. I'll take you to the dentist. Okay, go on, go find your dada. Go find your dada, go on, go find your dada. No, he, he's like, mommy. You're more interesting. You're going to make me YouTube famous. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> what do we have next? Oh, by the way, guys, these are from this cabinet here, my retro cabinet. So you know if you follow me, I have two retro cabinets. So we still have another one to do. I have another um, cabinet in my, my family room. I have a shelf in my family room with Hoyas. I have my whole kitchen window are full of Hoyas. My dining room window is full of Hoyas. My bedroom is full of Hoyas. So we have lots and lots of episodes coming up in the near future. <laughs> I hope you'll enjoy them. So next up is the Hoya Incrisata Variegata. And this just took off. This came to me from Thailand as a cutting. Now it was a larger cutting, but it has started just to put it. It's so prolific that you can get a good view of it there. So it has beautiful big leaves. You can see I put it on one of these little Dollarama trellises. Guys, if you live in Canada, you need to go pick these up. They are so handy for trellising Hoyas, especially in the interim before you need to put them on larger Hoya stakes. So you can see this is a beautiful plant. She has some beautiful variegation and I love the larger leaves. I'm noticing now that all my new cuttings that I received, the leaves are getting bigger and bigger on them, which is really exciting. But I just think, look at this, the, 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 the variegation is so cute on this, leaf, on this plant. So there is the Hoya Incrisata variegata. Do I have a name on it? Just double check. Oh, sorry, it's called the Hoya Incrisata Albo Marginato. Mar Marginato. Albo Marginata. <laughs> Hoya Incrisata Albo Marginata. And what do we have here? So this is a new one that I got from my friend Paula um, when I was with her on the weekend. She is so incredibly generous. She gave me two beautiful Hoyas. And this one is the Hoya Almeria. Almeri? The Hoya El Mary. And if you have a look at this, it's another beautiful Hoya. Sometimes we don't take time to appreciate the green, just the solid green Hoyas, and they are also beautiful. Sometimes we forget about them and we just go with all the variegation. And you can see it has put out a nice long tendril here. So I'm hoping for some activity on this soon. My Hoyas seem to love my IKEA cabinet, guys. And I always have to mention, they the lights in there are from Costco. They're 4,000 Kelvin, under covered lighting. I think it's, I keep giving you different prices, but I think it's 38.99 for, for three of them. And my Hoyas seem to love them. And this cabinet does not come to a high humidity because I didn't weatherproof the doors and the Hoyas are all perfectly happy in there. 
and I oh no, we've two more left. So this one, you know what? Last time I took this out, I said I was going to clean it, and I never did. So I just kind of remind myself what this one's called. So this is the Hoya Latifolia. Look at the gorgeous big leaves on this. So it has kind of Sarawak vibes, doesn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous, and um, it's actually I think it might be just about to start putting out some new growth and it came with these two leaves and it's very healthy um, no issues with it oh look at the roots coming at the end and it is in soil so this is the Hoya latifolia I'll be, I'll be excited to see growth on this Sorry guys, I know it's very white. I like my tea very weak. Ah, that is so good. Love my tea. Okay, and last we have, I love this. So this one gives me kind of Caldata vibes. I always say it reminds me, and it's the Hoya Flagellata. And I love the leaves. Do you see where I'm coming from the I think this is focusing on me. Can you see where I'm coming from by saying it has a caudata vibe? Its, it's leaf is quite similar to the caudata. I actually have two of these. Okay, I need to get this into the frame. There we go. So um, I have two of these actually. I will eventually put them together. And this has been growing away happily. It's doing very nicely. It's in pawn. It was a 2021 import and I do love it. I just think, like, look at this leaf, although it's a bit crinkly looking. Yeah, maybe get a feel of it. I know it's kind of crinkly looking, but look at the variegation on it. Isn't that gorgeous? So this one is doing great. It's in pawn. Let me see how we're doing. Not really, funnily enough, it's growing away but I can't really see roots on it, but obviously it has roots because it's growing and it's very happy. So here we have the Hoya Flagellata. Okay, so how many, oops, how many Hoyas was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That was 14 Hoyas in that little cabinet. I wouldn't have thought I could fit 14 Hoyas in there. I also have a lovely Anthurium that I got from my friend Tatum and I, I have to ask her, I'm not, I can't remember, it's a hybrid and I just can't remember the cross of it. Um, but I will show you that in a different video. So, glasses off, now I can't see anything but anyway. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you watched till the end, don't forget to put that green heart emoji in the comments. And thank you for your continued support. And for those of you that write to me all the time, you know who you are. I am so grateful for you. You bring a smile to my face every time I put a video out. You guys take care and have a wonderful day.